Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sulaiman Surani. If you're creating a 2D platformer game on Construct 3, I will show you a few simple steps on character movement and animation. Let's get started. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to import my main character. I'm going to double click and look for Sprite. And I'm going to call my character Hero. Now I have a series of um, PNG sequences here based on the respective actions. I have um, idle blinking which means um, when the character is not moving, he will be at a st stationary position. Um, he will blink his eyes once and as you can see, um, it looks like as if he's breathing. And I have one that is uh, kicking, so which means whenever I press on the button, I will have the character performing a kicking action. I have run attack, I have jumping and all that. Now if you like this um, whole series of PNG sequences that I have here, you can download it from the description box below and feel free to use these PNG sequences for any of your projects. Now I'm going to click on idle blinking and I'm going to insert this first and I'm going to select the whole entire se sequence that I have, all 17 of them. And as you can see, um, the animations panel here, I have all 17 frames. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the unnecessary spaces that I have here. So instead of clicking crop, I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to click on apply to animation. So I'm going to click on my animation panel here on the right and I'm going to rename this as uh, idle. Now I need to remember this because I will need to use this keyword later. And by default, the animation speed is set to 5. Now I can click on the preview here to take a look at um, how it will look like. I think 5, I'm going to probably increase to 8 and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to loop it because uh, I want it to, if I'm if the character is not moving, I want it to continuously be in this sequence. So that looks good. Um, I'm going to insert, I'm going to right click here and add animation. Uh, I'm going to include the one where he is in a running position when he's in running sequence. So I'm going to uh, rename this to run. I'm going to click open and I choose and I choose the one that says running. I'm going to crop and apply to animation. So I'm going to set this speed to I'm going to I'm going to try to play with 10 first. So I'm going to see how it goes later. I don't need to be in loop because um this action will only be activated when I press a key on the keyboard. So I have idle and I have run to at the moment. So I'm going to close this and I'm just going to resize my character and I already have a platform here. So I'm just going to resize my character accordingly about this size alright so obviously if I press play um, character is not able to move I have not uh, inserted any functions yet so as you can see here my character is already breathing and uh, blinking his eyes okay but I'm not able to move the character as yet because I have not done any I have not added any functions to the character yet so I'm going to close this and the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to um, new object type and I'm going to insert my keyboard input right under uh, scroll down under input I'm going to import the I'm going to insert the keyboard function so that we can use the arrow key on the keyboard to move the character and immediately I'm going to set a behavior for this character I'm going to click on my hero on the left properties panel under behavior I'm going to click add behavior and I'm going to um, look for platform I'm going to scroll down all the way down. I'm going to under movements, I'm going to click on platform. So what this um, movement does is that it automatically activates the arrow functions, the up, down, right and left. So I'm going to use that to um, control my character. So when I press play here, as you can see, my character, what happens is that it will just fall off the cliff. It will just fall off the layout. Right? Um, that is because I do not have any others, any solid for the character to land on. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to set my platform that I've added in. This is an image, uh, a sprite that I have. And I'm going to 
set my behavior of this platform to solid so that uh, my character can actually fall on to this platform so I have a series of platforms here so I have to so I have to um, set behavior to each one of them okay so each each of all this is set to solid so when I press play my character is able to land on the platform on a solid platform and I'm able to now use my arrow key to move forward and backwards and I, I can even jump using the arrow up key so um, you can adjust the speed of the character click on the sprite and I can actually change the speed of my character right my de deceleration uh, my jump strength I'm not going to I'm going to I'm going to decrease my jump strength a little bit. I'm going to bring down to 550. Now you can play around with this. This is the gravi uh, gravitational pull. If you want the character to float uh, or have a lesser gravity pull, you bring this down. And I'm going to give it a double jump so that, I, it, that the character can jump twice. And I'm going to change all this later. I'm pretty much okay with this at the moment. So as you can see here, I can move the character forward. When I press the left key, it's supposed to flip and um, continue walking, but it doesn't. It looks like as if it's reversed. So we want to fix that. So um, to do that, we are going to jump to our event sheet. Now we have really inserted the keyboard function here, the input. So I'm going to double, I'm going to add event. I'm going to look for keyboard. And I'm going to click on under keyboard function here. I'm going to click on on key press click to choose the key that I want um, press a key here so in this case I want to press the right key the right the right arrow key right and automatically I can see the right arrow um, function selected here and click OK done okay so on keyboard on keyboard uh, key press right uh, right key uh, add action I'm gonna click on my main character I'm going to set uh, my character. I'm going to look for um, set mirrored under appearance. And because um, currently it's moving right, moving forward. So I do not want it to uh, mirrored, right? I want it to look exactly as it is at the moment. So I'm going to set it to not mirrored. I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to add event. I'm going to click on keyboard next all right and uh, same thing uh, under keyboard under on key press i'm going to click next and this time we're going to choose the left arrow key and under add action i'm going to go click it act hero uh, set mirrored same thing all right i'm going to set this to mirrored so basically it will just flip and if i press play and now i can have my character to move forward and when I uh, press the left arrow key, it will flip and it will start to move, right? So I can do that. So that that looks good, right? Uh, now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that when I actually, I want to see the running animation. So I'm going to go back to my event sheet. I'm going to click on add event and, and click, click, click on hero. Now um, I'm going to scroll down and look for platform. Earlier on, we have already added the uh, platform behavior. So under platform, we click on if platform is moving. When platform is moving, click next. Add action, the main character. And I'm going to set my animation. So under animations, I'm going to click on set animation and go next. Um, remember the, the name that we've labeled earlier? Uh, I'm going to call this run. Okay, I have two options, right? I have I have two sequences, right? I have uh, idle and I have run. So I'm going to click on run. So I'm going to type run. Play from the beginning, right? And click done. So when the character's platform is moving, the character will be set to run animation. So now if I click on the preview, I um, can see the running animation going on when I press the right arrow key. When I turn the uh, when I press on the left arrow key, the character will turn left and it will move. All right. Okay. The the issue that we have at the moment is that um, the minute I I press uh, the one arrow key, the animation will be activated. So I do not want that. I want to fix that now. So I'm gonna close that, and I'm gonna head to event sheet, and I'm gonna click on 
add event hero now um, I want to set that in such a way that when the character is not moving I want to set animation to idle okay so I'm gonna look for um, platform animation triggers I'm gonna click on on stop when my hero's platform is set to stop hero set animation And I'm gonna type in idle, the sequence that we have created earlier. All right, animation will start from the beginning and click OK. So when hero is uh, moving, um, he will be set to run. His animation will be set to run. Uh, when he's not moving, he will be set to idle. So now when I click preview, when I move my character, it should be able to uh, move and I press my right arrow key. It should be able to move right and um, left accordingly. So here I can actually adjust the animation sequence um, based on um, the movement, right? So I must match my um, character speed. If I go back to layout one, I must ma I must match my character speed, which is three three zero, to the animation speed here. So if I click on the uh, if I double click on the main character, my run animation is currently set to ten, right? And my speed is about three three zero. So you need to um, so you need to make sure that it matches with the animation at the moment it seems okay so what I can do now is to change the animation sequence when my character is jumping so uh, I'm going to go and um, double click on my hero character I'm gonna add a new animations panel and animation I'm gonna call this I'm gonna name this as I'm gonna name this as a uh, jump and click open okay so if you're using my animation uh, png sequences here you can click on jump loop uh, highlight the entire five sequences okay, i'm going to apply to all animation and my um, jump sequence um, i'm going to leave it to five and uh, see if it works i'm going to close this um, if I need to increase the number, I can always increase that later. And um, back to event sheet. Add event. Hero. So when uh, platform is jumping. Okay, platform is jumping. Add action. My hero character. I'm going to set animation. To jump. So if I press play, it should work just nicely. So character will jump. Jump. Jump is the up button. Okay, and now we have one issue. When the character jump, once it's landed, it will still keep running. Okay, we're gonna fix that. Because uh, when the character lands on the platform, it should stop running. Alright, um, by now you should know, we should set it to idle. Right, so we're gonna close this. Back to event sheet. So now, um, because hero on, um, so we, when hero platform is jumping, we're gonna set animation to jump. So now, when the hero um, has landed, right? So when hero landed, we're gonna look for on landed under animation triggers on landed. Click on hero. Hero will. Set animation to idle. Okay, so when the character when the character is jumping, animation is set to jump. When the hero landed, it should set back to idle. Right. So um, now I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna um, have the character because he's holding on to a sword. Right. So um, character is going to attack an enemy. Right. So in such a way that when I press the space bar. Um, he will be able to um, attack the enemy with his sword. So I'm gonna click on my main character and I'm gonna add one more animation. And I'm gonna call this um, attack. The PNG sequence here that I have um, is attack, attacking. Okay, now I have one attacking in the air while he's jumping, 
Okay, so if I look, if you look at the um, attacking folder, I have the character here attacking the enemy with his sword. And I can also set attacking in the air so that when I press the space bar, it will actually jump and attack in the air. So I'm going to click on attacking first. I'm going to set, um, I'm going to, I'm going to select the entire 10 images and I click open. Same process as we did earlier. I'm going to uh, make sure that I crop the, um, the entire um, empty spaces that I have around the character in between the character and the bounding box okay I can set the animation as well I'm gonna leave it to 5 so when I press the space bar I want the character to start attacking the enemy with his sword so because I'm gonna use the space bar it's gonna be in the keyboard function so I'm gonna add event and look for keyboard and I'm gonna look for key pressed so when I press the space bar, my hero is now set animation to attack. So now if I press the space bar, my character, is a, my character will be will attack with his sword. Okay, I think the animation here is a bit too slow, right? It should be um, attacking very furiously. So it should be, um, so we should increase the animation speed. So I'm going to um, click on the attack animation. I'm going to probably try 10 and see if it works. Okay, okay, we do not want it to loop. Only the idle animation is set to loop. The rest should be on loop. So if I press play, um, okay, slightly better. When the character attacks the the enemy, right? So after after the animation sequence done completed, it, as you can see here, it is still in its attack mode, right? But we want to switch back to idle. So I'm gonna add a new event I'm going to uh, I'm going to click on hero okay um, earlier I'm going to look for animations okay on animations on finished click next on finish attack earlier on all right so once the character um, has completed the animation the attack animation sequence it should go back to idle set animation so always click preview to check your work so if I press the space bar the character will attack and then it will move back to idle so I've set all the animations that I want uh, at the moment for my character uh, in terms of moving to the right left uh, jump as well as to um, attack so um, if I move my character out so my character goes out of the frame Okay, I want to fix that as well. So uh, I'm going to close this and I'm going to add one more behavior to my character. And I'm going to click on edit behavior under properties panel. And I'm going to add new behavior. I'm going to scroll under general. I'm going to look for scroll to. So now when I hit preview, um, when I move my character, the screen will follow my character. Alright, so um, that's it for today's tutorial. It's uh, just a short tutorial on character movement, character animation on Construct Tree. If you want to learn anything on Construct Tree, do let me know in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, I upload videos every week. Thank you and I'll see you again.